All right, this is Kickstart Tutorials here, and here is what we are going to create today. So as you can see, we have this ragdoll character, which is acting according to what touches him. And yeah, we just took a random zombie character and turned him into a ragdoll character. So without further ado, let's show you guys how to do this. So first, let's jump over to the asset store and hit in zombie, because we want a zombie to be our ragdoll. Also hit the free only button because you probably have no money just like me. And then just choose a free zombie character like this one, which by the way looks pretty awesome. And then go ahead and import it. Once you import it, go back to your scene and then find the zombie folder inside your assets folder. And there you should have some kind of prefab, in our case it is the zombie HQ or whatever, and we will drag this zombie inside our scene. Here we can adjust the height or the size of the zombie. Um, I want to make it kind of the size of my character that you can see in the back there, by the way. That's a third person controller setup. If you don't know how to do that, check out my other videos. And yeah, just drag him onto the floor and we will take this character and make a ragdoll out of it. And I'm going to show you how. So select the rig of the uh, zombie and then click on the rig, made a right click and then 3D object, ragdoll. Once you click that, there should be a window popping up here. And now what you need to do is you need to move the body parts of the zombie inside that window. Depending on what model you have, this can get a little bit confusing since, like in this case, hips is pelvis and stuff like forearm is actually the elbow. And, you know, there are just a few parts that don't really are named the same way as they are in this window. So you gotta experiment a little bit with that, but after a while you will figure it out. Re making ragdolls is actually a little bit time consuming, which is why I'm going to speed this process up here. So yeah, just drag in the body parts and figure out which one is which, and you should be fine. Once you are done with dragging in, you can leave that at 20 and leave it at 0 and then click create. And now it has created a bunch of rigid bodies for you. And every body part that you just selected has now a rigid body and is connected to the other rigid body. But since this thing is not perfect, it kind of made my head a little big for the zombie. So go ahead and edit the rigid body. So click the game object and then click edit collider. Oh, by the way, it's Collider, not Rigid Body, sorry. And then you have to align this, so go ahead in the coordinates and then just play around with them until you get the correct lineup. Um, since I take a little long for this, I'm gonna speed this up again. Yeah, so, you know, just adjust to your character and um, you should be good. And don't get frustrated if it takes a long time, it's just a very time-consuming process. So, yeah. Also make sure that all of the rigid bodies are aligned, like I do here, like I adjust the arms as well a little bit. And yeah, just make sure when you click the complete character that everything is kinda in those rigid bodies. And then just hit play and you can see you already have the rag doll set up and it acts accordingly to what touches it. And if it does that doesn't work on the first try, just try again setting up the colliders a little bit better and um, yeah. That's all pretty much. You can do fancy stuff now like pulling it up and adding some cubes so it has some nicer physics to it. Um, this is of course not necessary but it is a lot of fun. So yeah, just play around and see what you can come up with. 
If you like this video, please leave a like or consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.